Hello, fellow Diamond Painting Addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne, and I'm here today to de-kit my leftover drills from my Diamond Art Club kit called Fantastic Friends. I have finished that one, so I am ready to begin de-kitting my drills. So, if you guys saw the kit up of this, and if you didn't, I'll try to remember to stick a link up there. You guys know this kit had some static in it. Uh, I let the drills just sit for a little bit and then they seem to be fine. I did have dryer sheets in with them. I will say I don't think the dryer sheets helped a ton. Um, they might have helped a little, but it was fine. I was able to diamond paint the kit with no problem. And this is a super cute little kit. So even though I wasn't sure when I got it if it would be worth it because it was so small, I actually really like it a lot. It's super cute, so I'm happy that I got it. Not too many of these left. Guys, again, I just love my little cubes. They hold so many drills. They're so nice when you go to pour them into your, either your trash or your spares or whatever you're gonna do with them. Okay, jumping to 400 here. Okay, 400. Uh, I'm actually glad to be in here filming today because it is cold outside today. I thought that it was supposed to rain and I got up this morning and it snowed. So yeah, I kind of wish it would have rained. We could have used the rain more than the snow, but, but I guess it all worked out because my husband doesn't have to work today. They called it because it was too cold for them to work. So they're up in the air not only too cold oh yeah this is the one i ran out of you guys so well i'll show you when i get to it let me leave this one out so i remember that um because i put a picture in the facebook group and if you're not in the facebook group why aren't you goodness go join it i put a, a picture in the facebook group I actually ran out of those drills and not just one or two i ran out and I know that I could have gone to Diamond Art Club and said, hey, I ran out of these, can you send me some? And they would have, at no cost, would have been no problem. However, you know, I was maybe 20 drills short, and this is part of the reason I keep spares, right? Is so that when that happens, because if they had sent it to me, it would have been, you know, a couple weeks maybe before I got them. Maybe a little bit faster, but everything lately has been taking a couple of weeks. And I just didn't want to wait that long. I wanted to finish it. You know, once I get a kit out, I don't want to have to be interrupted in the middle of it and not be able to finish what I'm doing. I love this color. So cute. There's actually a couple of shades in there, but that's okay. I was able to use my spares and I put a picture in the Facebook group to ask if anybody could tell. And it doesn't appear that anybody could. Uh, I didn't have anybody tell me you know, that they could specifically see which pictures or which colors were uh, not exactly matching. And so, yeah. So, you know, when you're all upset because you've run out of drills or the dye lots don't quite match or, you know, you don't think you're going to be able to use your spares or you make a mistake, don't sweat it, right? Nine times out of 10, the only person that's going to know is you. In fact, I was just working on a kit and you know how when you're working on a confetti section and you do one color and you think, okay, I've gotten them all, and then you start working on another color, and as soon as you're started working on that next color, you suddenly see, oh man, I missed this and this. And you know, it's always like one drill here and one drill there. Now, I have started a policy of when I'm doing a kit like that that has a lot of confetti, like I did this with my Diana, I wanna to touch the drills as little as possible. I wanna spend as little time as possible pouring the back in and back out of the container. So instead of, oh, there's one, I missed it, I'm gonna go back and pull out that container, pour out one drill, put it on, whatever. I'll just wait until I get done with the whole section because odds are I'm gonna miss something else in the section and then I can go back and pull out, you know, one-offs as I need to or whatever. Anyway, on this particular one, I thought, you know what? These two colors that are next to each other are so close. It's one little drill. If I just put the drill that I'm currently using on it, no one will ever know but me. And you know what, when I got done, yeah, I couldn't tell. Even knowing I had done it, I couldn't tell where it was. 
Don't sweat the small stuff, guys. All right, 815. I love this color. And I'm enjoying my new logbook. I should go get it so I can show you guys what it looks like now that I've got some things in it. <laughs> I did finally go through and put uh, my stash in it. And I've been using it because I finished some projects and I've been using it for that. So yeah, I'm excited. Also, I'm excited about this kit because, you know, somebody had told me about, I don't know if it's Diamond Art Club that started the challenge or someone in the Diamond Art Club group or whatever. I'm not, I don't have access to the VIP group, Diamond Art Club. Speaking of, they're giving out anniversary points, I guess. Those of us who are in the, our VIP members, I don't know if you have to be a certain level or what, but I got points for my quote unquote anniversary. I don't know if that's the, like the anniversary of the first time I bought from them. It was just their anniversary. I didn't read the fine print. I got some free points. That's really all I cared about. So hopefully you got some free points too. You guys, I've been filming in here. I was freezing when I came in here and the price of natural gas is ridiculous. Every time I get my bill, it's gone up. And so I refuse to turn our heat up. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to film and then I'm going to be warm. And I was right. I've been here in here maybe 15 minutes and now I'm starting to sweat. So it's all good. Uh, okay. Anyway, what was I talking about? Diamond Art Club. Uh, I don't know where the challenge is. I just know somebody mentioned it on a comment to me that they're doing this challenge where you finish uh, five Diamond Art Club kits I'm going to count this as one of mine. This is going to count as my small one because it's pretty small. It's nine by nine, I think. So 23 centimeters by 23 centimeters. It is very small, but it is very cute. All right. So I've got one AB here, three, zero, seven, eight. Ooh, and I don't have any of these ABs. See, this is why I save any of the ABs that I get because who knows when I'll come across a kit where I might want some ABs for that. Although I did think the other day I need to keep track of what colors I have ABs for because I don't have ABs for every single color, obviously. So because I was using the Diamond Art Club stickers, I put a sticker of my own on there that had the DMC code on it. So when I went to go de-kit it, I would know where it actually needed to go since Diamond Art Club uses their own numbers for the ABs. I'm not quite sure why that is. Like they use regular DMC numbers for all of their other colors. So why not just use the regular DMC numbers for ABs as well? It would be less confusing, I would think. What do I know? I'm just a diamond painter, right? All right, so there's those. Okay, so the next one is 3609. That's another AB. And another color I don't have any of. So for the Diamond Art Club Challenge, there is a small kit under 65 centimeters. Uh, there is your oldest Diamond Art Club. There is one with a flower. Um, what were the other two? Smallest, oldest, one with a flower. You guys, I wrote these all down. My, my memory is terrible. Of course, I should have looked them all up before I started talking about them. Anyway, I can't remember what the other two are. If I can remember them, I'll, I'll mention them at some point. I'm sure they'll come to me while I'm thinking of something else. This kit was pretty staticky, but I had one that was even worse. You guys, oh my goodness. I haven't had a, a um, kit with that much static in a long time. Like, I was so frustrated, I was about to cry. It was so maddening. Ooh, there are some wildly different colors in there. Should have looked at that before I dumped them in there. That'll teach me. All right, this is 37.56. Oh, I got these out of order. 37.56. It's okay. I'll survive. All right, no ABs of this one either, so woohoo. 
All right. So put all those in there. Yeah, I really liked this kit. It was super cute. I had a lot of fun doing it. There's a little piece stuck in there. I like to make sure my cubes are all clean for the next kit. Those little pieces of plastic just want to cling on forever. Okay, let me get this sticker taken off and then I'll do the last one that I got out of order, which was 3809. And then I can do the last four. And then I will show you my trash and I will show you uh, what the kit looks like, of course. And I'll show you where that color is and see if we can tell. I don't know also if it maybe it's something that like you can see it in real life, but it doesn't really show up on camera. Sometimes that's the case with things, you know, you can see it very plainly in real life, but on camera, it just doesn't show up. 3859. Ooh, I'm doing these all out of order too. Oh, well, as long as I'm putting them in the right place, it's all good, right? Ooh, I don't have very many of these. This is a pretty pink color. And then the last one, see there's a little bit of static there. Come on, get out of there. Come on, you little stubborn guys. There we go. Okay. Get in there and play with all your little friends. Ooh, I don't have any of these. I always love it when it's a color I don't have any of because then I have spares for the next time I do a project. Like this one where I might run out and I just need, you know, 10 drills or something and it's not worth waiting for them to send me a whole giant bag of drills when I just need 10 to finish up what I'm doing. And yeah, it is kind of a pain to maintain, you know, the spare storage and everything. I like it because I like organizing. So, you know, coming up with the box and how I wanted to do this and the system and what size bags I wanted and my little divider things, my kitchen dividers that I use for this and all that kind of stuff uh, was fun. It was fun trying to figure it all out. And then I got to use my cutting machine to make my little tabs and stickers. Okay, so that's all the drills put away. Let me show you the trash. And then, I mean, it's a little kit, so there wasn't very much trash. And some of these, most of these, are because I actually put the orange ones are because I put the wrong in the wrong put the wrong drills on the wrong symbol and I had enough drills that rather than trying to, to put them back on because they were sticky on the back and whatever because you can see how they're clumping together I just put them in the trash so I did have a couple of pieces of trash some misshapen ones and all of that but minimal to no trash for the size of kit so that was all the trash okay so let me clean up some of this and I will be right back with the kit to show you the finish. Don't go anywhere. So I told you that this color is the one that I ran out of. So let me show you the finish of the kit and ta-da, here she is. Isn't she cute? This is this cute little mermaid with her little goldfish and some bubbles. So super simple kit, 26 kits or 26 colors. And I gotta say, I really love this color of her mouth. I love the oranges in her hair. I thought those were really cute. You can see we've got the ABs here. There's some ABs in on the goldfish, some ABs in her little clamshell bra there. Now, the color that I ran out of was this outline color on her tail and her fins. So I don't know. Now, when I got them out and I placed them right next to each other, I was like, these are not the same color. And I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on camera or not. In fact, I'm kind of having a hard time looking at them right now. But I think like right here and right here are all the drills where I used what spares I had that were not quite the same color. Right down in here, I think like these first five are the color that they gave me, five or six, and then the second two are the colors, the spares that I had. So pretty close, but not exact. Although it is really hard to tell when you're looking at it. So, and if I zoom you guys up close, you know, again, my drill placement is not perfect, 
I'm good with that. It's good enough for me. It looks good from a distance. I mean, just even from where the camera is to here, it looks good. If I put it even further away, you'd never be able to tell. The image is already pretty pixelated just because it's so small. So it's all good. And I love the way she turned out. I, you know, it, there was, of course, some confetti in her bra here, um, in her hair, but there was also, you know, a nice mix of multi-placing. The background was a nice mix of multi-placing. So I think it was a great kit. This would be a great beginner kit if you have somebody who has not diamond painted before. You know, um, I do think 26 colors is a lot, but, you know, going slow, and a lot of them, you really don't have that many uses for them. Like, pretty much the colors of the goldfish only got used in the goldfish. You know, her skin colors, that's the only place they got used. Her tail, that's the only place the greens got used. So a lot harder to make mistakes on a small kit like this. But anyway, I think, yeah, I think it turned out really well. I'm super happy with it. So there is my finish of Fantastic Friends. I have gotten all of my drills out and put those away. And now I'm ready to move on to my next project. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video, guys. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.